At a cost of around 49 billion taxpayer dollars, the MBN is a mongrel mix of copper, fibre, odds and sods. But before it's even finished, could Australia's 13 million broadband users be lured away by an alternative? And before we start, a gigabit is 1,000 megabits. Perfect. Of all the Police Academy movies, it was the fifth one that won our hearts and minds. Leave the swimming area now, mister! And it's looking like the fifth generation of mobile telecommunications, the aptly named 5G, will be just as spectacular. This is going to be the biggest shift we have seen since the phone actually was even invented. This is the future. It's around unleashing ourselves from cable and moving into a true world where wireless is king. With telcos announcing 5G will start to roll out to our squinty eyes and sausagey fingers by 2019, metro areas first, then regional, it's got tech heads frothing at their megabit loving mouths. It's really fast download speeds, really high bandwidth and really low latency. Predictions of 5G's download speeds range from about 1 to 3 gigabits per second. Compare that to the top tier speed of the NBN, which can get a peak rate of only 100 megabits per second. A gigabit is 1,000 megabits. We get it, Carrie. <laughs> While the NBN is capable of one gigabit per second, you need fibre to your house to get it. But when Tony and Malcolm fixed Labor's original plan for the NBN, instead of fibre to the home, they gave us fibre to the node at the end of our street, which then bottlenecked speeds with a mix of copper and other stuff to your house. Meanwhile, 5G will allow you to download an HD movie in seconds and pump buttloads of data to and from your trusty phone, self-driving cars, smart homes, remote-controlled robotic surgical arms, virtual reality game consoles, ultra high def TVs, rescue drones, and will finally unlock the full potential of internet fridges. 5G gets its magical powers from... Beamforming is really, really exciting. It will allow the network operators to be able to identify you down to the exact location that you are and provide you incredible amounts of bandwidth at the precise moment you need it. Imagine if you're in a sports stadium and there's hundreds of thousands of people around you. This technology will allow everyone to get the services they need at exactly the moment it matters. So the big question is, what happens when 5G and NBN compete for consumer dollars? Labor MP Josh Wilson is part of a parliamentary committee addressing that very issue. Yes, I am concerned. 5G is an exciting technology, but if it pinches customers from the NBN, that will be a bad thing. Probably the worst case scenario is you get parts of the NBN footprint that can't be upgraded because there's no revenue to fund the upgrade. We really see a coexistence between NBN and 5G services when they arrive here. What we are is a real workhorse, we provide the ability to stream lots and lots of data. Yes, you may get a very fast connection on 5G, but how much data will you be allocated by the mobile operators? There's still definitely a place for NBN because it's technology that we have now. We have to remember that 5G is really not going to be part of our everyday lives until the 2020s. Our world ranking for fixed internet speeds is notoriously average. We currently rank 56th in the world, just behind our broadband arch nemesis, Guam, with an average download speed of 26.45 megabits per second. Conversely, our mobile phone network is going great guns. Australia ranks sixth in the world, with an average download speed of 47.94 megabits a second. Guam didn't make the top 100. Suck it, Guam. So with around 20% of Aussies already opting to use their current 4G mobiles for internet access, will the arrival of 5G deal a digital death blow to the largest infrastructure project in Australian history? I'd be very interested in 5G. Yeah, why not? It's going to be great. Quicker the better, I say. <laughs> in every sense of the word. Oh yeah, this uh, stuff all goes over my head. I didn't. I don't even know if I've got MBN or not. <laughs> what no do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I have no idea. I, I don't think I, I do either. Okay, so know. when you when you log on, does yeah. it slow? Does it make it's this slow. noise? <laughs> <laughs> that, no. no. No, but it used to when I was trying to play Leisure Suit Larry back in the day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's right, because we got our, uh, in, the, in the mail, uh, our rollout for the NBN in our neighbourhood, and we're like the only street that kind of missed out, like both sides. It's like they've targeted the Helliers, to be honest. Yeah, and yeah, God, we're not, we're not giving them the NBN. But yeah. now... I'm, 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 dodged a bullet. I, I was rageful, but now I'm stoked. Oh, that's the yeah. thing about this... Right, like, so there's the, that sort of thing about what you can access, but there's a bigger question. This is a really expensive project. Yeah. Mm. If it's been outdone already mm. by what a phone company is going to offer, we don't know how much that'll cost. Like, I get there's all that stuff as a consumer we don't know yet. Yeah. But that's full on. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you have NBN? No. Uh. And I know that I don't. Uh. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you win. We're going to take a break. We'll see you in a moment.